the theme of this year is more than ever important for the International Women's Day. Gender equality today for a sustainable tomorrow. And the national theme is echoing this important aspect. Gender equality to address climate change. Of course, Rwanda has made significant progress, even being seventh globally and being number one on women in politics, 61.3% of women being parliamentarian at very prominent position and 52% in the cabinet. We still have some work to do. We have the issues of gender-based violence, we have the issues of getting more women in the private sector, in businesses, leading really corporate to forge the change that we need. We also need to tackle teenage pregnancy, tackle stunting. Of course, in all those aspects, the government is doing a tremendous work in partnership with development partners. You can continue counting on us. But I'm very hopeful seeing what has been done here. When we visit the exhibition, seeing women in important economic aspect, including exporting so that we better position our country in the regional integration and the African continental free trade area. We have seen also women designing what is important to protect the rights of the girls, designing how they can protect the environment, designing aspects related to producing goods and services that are important for the country, for its transformation, aligned with the national strategy for transformation. COVID was not on our side. COVID has shown the aspect really that humanity is not doing well. We have more inequalities rising, more poverty rising. Even on the aspect of food security, we have more poverty and more food insecurity rising in the world. 120 million globally has fallen just last year in food insecurity. If in 2030 we wake up and we see that two goals, gender equality and education are achieved, the likelihood that we have achieved the SDGs will be very high. These are very important goals that we need really to achieve. That's a great thing that has been achieved here today. I also am very hopeful when I see the private sector and the civil society getting engaged. Let's build the Gachenke coalition in order to make sure that gender equality would be a reality and would be tackling climate change so that our country remains protected, our country remains focused on the required transformation, economic, social and transformational governance.